In this video, we're going to talk about the slating of the roof from a cost point of view. I'm going to walk you through the spreadsheet showing you all the individual items that we used in this project and uh, their relative costings. And at the end of that, you will discover how much it was relative to the meterage of the roof area, uh, how much that costs. So it will give you some sort of idea of what the roofing costs are. I, I should point out that these costs are obviously uh, our costs and not necessarily the costs that you will achieve. Um, you may be under or over, uh, but it will give you some idea of what those costs are. If you find these videos useful, then I would love you to put a like, um, smash a like on the, the video. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe because there's lots more videos coming. Hi. My name is Jim J. Davidson and I've been involved in property since 1973 when my brother and I purchased a flat in the student area of Edinburgh. Ever since then, I've been interested in property as a form of wealth creation. My current company, Fineside Developments, was established in 2003 and completed its first new build in 2006. And I hope you will join me on this journey as perhaps you start your own property journey. For context, we are in the build it phase and the frame stage. This is a list of the materials that we used in the roof covering. And uh, so let me just go through them. We have the slate vents. These were used to accommodate uh, two things. One was the air ventilation system that we have the heat recovery system that we have in the house and the second for the uh, waste soil pump so as that we didn't actually have any uh, structures sticking out of the roof as you will often see with waste uh, pipes uh, so it just gives a much cleaner effect um, then we have the actual slates here themselves. Now, uh, you'll actually see um, across here, these were the original quantities that we ordered. Uh, these were estimated by the uh, supplier of the slates and we were able to return them. So this is an important point actually, is that uh, make sure when you are securing supplies uh, of slates that you get uh, permission uh, or the ability to sl uh, to return them. Some uh, companies will not take them back. In fact, I know of another development where they actually had to sell them on to uh, a reclaim company and uh, they got a fraction of what they would have got if they'd actually returned them. They will give you a full credit at the value you price them, less a restocking fee. So you'll see down here the restocking fee of uh, £237.71 uh, pence, which actually equates to 15% of the value. So, uh, so that's what that is. And if you look at the quantities here, so we got 10,600 originally, and we returned 938 of the standard size, or when I say standard size slate, the main slate that we're using for the job, which was a 30 by 20 slate. And then for the edges, uh, that we had a larger slate, a 30 by 30. Originally 1290, we returned 1,003 and we were left with 287. Uh, then we have the zinc, zinc ridge. This is the part that goes right over the ridge of the roof. And then that has to be secured and that's secured with the ridge straps. Then the timber roll. Now the timber roll actually goes underneath the zinc ridge uh, to give it support. Essentially, it is a round piece of wood. Uh, then we have lead. These are for the valleys and also around the dormer windows. So we have two different types of lead. Um, and then obviously these have to then be fixed. So we have round nails, uh, we have aluminium nails and, and the rafter trays essentially go underneath the edge of the roof uh, to overhang over the wood, uh, the soffit board, so as that the water runs off into the gutters. 
and then we needed various fixings and glue here. So the total cost was £6,871.68 uh, for a roof size of about 200 square metres. That makes including the labour charge work out at about £71 a square metre. So that is at the lower end of the scale, uh, will be affected depending on what part of the country you're in by the labour rate and what you're able to buy your materials at. Uh, the other thing that I should point out is that slates vary considerably in price and so depending on what specification you have um, and where they have come from, in other words which country they have come from, then this cost can vary considerably. So um, I wouldn't want you to rely on this. This is simply the costing for this particular house. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Then click to watch the next video. Please remember to visit our website at builditandprosper.com to get our app or click on the button on the YouTube header if you're on desktop.